Come on, what's happening? Yeah, Tony, that's Kevin Newman uh, with the base hit. Castro scores, and the Pirates salvage the win uh, after the Reds. A couple of home runs. Farmer, a two-run home run, and then Fraley in the top of the ninth. They tied it up. Final score, 4-3. to three. And, uh, well, sometimes if you got the uh, bucks and the under, like I did, you get lucky. But uh, weren't uh, premiums, but we had I had the under on the uh, uh, show today and a uh, little action on the bucks. So, you know, I had to bet that blockbuster. Yeah, you almost feel like you got to get – you almost feel you should be paid double because you had to win the game twice. <laughs> That's how it feels. You know, expect a you know crummy game but turned out to be exciting and fun so oh yes no doubt all right here we go tonight 9 45 eastern time the giants where did this come from right well, what took you so long to show up to the season uh we got the giants here hosting the rockies the giants here minus 155 total of eight yeah we're still waiting for official word for the giants uh maybe they're sleeping in today as to maybe what their pitching plans are but maybe we have some insight on what's going to happen there i'm going to be speculating a little bit there's a little bit of uh, twitter buzz as well about uh, what we might see tonight uh, some of the books don't even have this line up I'm afraid to uh, put something up but some of the books have as well so you see the line there that's going to be pretty accurate because we're going to have uh, we know uh, jose urania is going to be pitching for colorado he's got a three and seven record a 5.34 era but he's uh, allowed just uh four runs in his last 17 innings and uh, did have a start against the Giants last week. A couple of runs in five and two-thirds innings. Now, in that game, the Giants pitcher was John Brebbia, and uh, I expect John Brebbia to be uh, the opener again tonight. Uh, no indication that he is, but uh, he's been in this spot. He hasn't pitched now in about five days, so when he went against that matchup, it was or Urania against Brebbia. So I expect Brebbia to be uh, the the opener, probably followed by Shelby Miller. Now, Brebbia's store number is a little bit idiosyncratic, Tony. Uh, he's actually going to be, if he is the opener, uh, I don't want to talk too long about it in case he's not, but uh, if he does and he does not give up a run in his inning, uh, he's going to tie the Major League record for the most consecutive scoreless starts <laughs> in oh. Major League history with a couple of other openers uh, including Stanek, who might be the uh, original opener, if you will, Stanek of the of the of the Rays. So uh, that's kind of an interesting record. And also, he's already set the record for the most consecutive starts, allowing just one hit uh, with seven. <laughs> so those are some of the things that happen when you got the uh, opener uh, factor. Now, you know, if not, Brebby will be shoveled back in to be a, his other role as really a, a setup man, uh, if you will. Uh, Shelby Miller, you know, he's now with the Giants, uh, signed a free agent contract in June. Um, he might end up being the uh, primary. He's actually looked pretty good so far uh, with the Giants. Struck out seven. Uh, I think he struck out seven so far in 12 innings. So uh, I'm going to look for an under tonight, and maybe Brebby will get these numbers. But just these two teams in general, definitely. Uh, trending to the under the Giants are getting good pitching again uh, that's why they're having that little surge if you will uh, they've also won six straight over Colorado that uh, game in Colorado was a three nothing win for the Giants last week when Brebbia opened against Urania Urania uh, San Francisco 05 and one versus right-handed starters at home in their last six they're also one and six to the under Last seven at home. Meanwhile, Colorado, three and thirteen to the under off a loss, and three and thirteen in their last sixteen on the road. Another interesting one is uh, uh, San Francisco, uh, one eleven and two to the under in their last fourteen game twos in a series. They're also one ten and one to the under after allowing two runs or less in their previous game. So uh, that's the way I'm going to see it, you know, heading into this one. I mean, certainly when you talk about uh, the hitting woes of the two teams uh, a little bit, Colorado, uh, 239 on the road against right-handers, and that's what you'll see uh, with Shelby Miller. And Miller really, you know, that the interesting combination here, if they uh, uh, use Miller as, a, as an opener, he's a real, real reverse splits guy uh, in a way. So, Colorado can't cross him up too much with some of those left-handers. Of course, McMahon and Blackman 
probably be in the lineup. We don't know much about uh, the lineups in these teams. I'm I'm playing the trends and the fact that Brevi will probably be uh, the opener here. And, you know, Colorado right now on the road, I, don't, I really don't see much of a, a advantage for them against uh, either the opener or uh, a Miller in this one. I think it might be a little bit tough sledding for them. Uh, guys like uh, Daza and Grichik uh, might have it a little bit tough, maybe Crone as well. So I think this one will be getting uh, going under the total tonight. Uh, in San Francisco. All right, we got the remote here. Rockies, Giants, under toll here of eight. Always uh, got to hold your breath with your arena on the mound when you look at it at an under. But so, you know, sometimes you get those good outings from him. Kind of a really, really the yo-yo man. I just consider him a yo-yo man, just up and down. You never know what you're going to get when he's bad, he's bad. When he's good, he's really good. So you'll find out right away here about the uh, arena. Of course, Shelby Miller, someone who's trying to play himself back into Major League Baseball, someone who's an absolute been pounded here. Uh, and, and starts with Arizona, uh, Texas, uh, Pittsburgh, and Chicago. is just ERAs that are just but ugly. But to his credit, he swallowed his pride. He took the minor league contract. And he put up some pretty good numbers in AAA in his two stops this year. Yeah, and uh, the Giants will want to get probably two or three more looks at Miller to see if he uh, is a candidate to maybe make this uh, make spring training next year. Uh, you know, certainly he's been a journeyman. He's been a, around with several teams now. And, uh, you know, he's a, a, kind of a unique pitcher with his uh, repertoire, certainly, uh, which makes him kind of an interesting candidate. Like I said, he does, you know, he's kind of a, a reverse splits guy so far against left-handers. He's proven it uh, again so far with the Giants. With You talk about uh, uh, his numbers so far. I mentioned those, uh, you know, those strikeouts. But, uh, you know, he just has that, you know, uh, fastball curveball combination that's really all he relies on whether or not that you know hurts him in the you know in, in some of the uh, stops that he's had uh, I'm not sure but he's you know at this point he's not going to change you oh know you, know, you know you know you know what screwed him up is he, he he had his he had good years with St. Louis then he had a move to Atlanta had great years and that nothing will screw you up more than going to Arizona <laughs> that's what happened that's what happened there it was <laughs> Well, you got to figure he can still get his fastball up there in the in the uh, uh, low 90s, I would figure. And uh, you know, that curveball is definitely, you know, he can play off that curveball still. So he, he has a lot to prove. I mean, uh, you know, these will be important uh, outings for him, no doubt. Like I said, they'll probably get two or three more looks at Shelby Miller uh, right now in this uh, in this call up in this late season uh, surge for him. But I thought the Brevia was an interesting story. Certainly, that's kind of why I picked the game. Uh, well, you know, you know, San Francisco has turned into pitchers rehab. You know, <laughs> it pretty much has <laughs> some of the guys rehabbing yeah. their careers. Yeah, and I'm always looking to pitch. I'm always looking to pitch on the West Coast, right? Uh, yeah. uh, if I'm going to try to Galsman, who going. are some of these guys that uh, rehab their careers over there? You know, that they were down and they come, they go to San Francisco and they turn themselves around. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll see. But again, I think those will be the pitching plans uh, tonight. For uh, for the Giants, uh, just you know, based on what we saw before, what we saw before uh, with these guys uh, as well. Like I said, uh, the last time uh, for uh, Brebbia was indeed uh, last Thursday uh, through through uh, 15 pitches in the, in his uh, outing uh, in that one, and Miller followed. Uh, he pitched on Friday with about 50 pitches, so. Uh, uh, that that's the way I think it could go down uh, on uh, in tonight's game anyway. Now yeah, tonight's game, uh, Rockies Giants under a total of eight. This one will have a start time here up. It's 9.45 East. All right, Ramon, let's go over at TonySpace.com. We'll have one game in the books on our 15-game card. That leaves us with 15, uh, 14 games remaining. Next one up at 6 Eastern time. So a lot on the board here. Heading into a football weekend starting tomorrow. What do you have going over at Tony's Picks? Tonight, Tony, I have a five-pack in the major leagues to kick things off. Another five-pack uh, for $35 over at Tony'sPicks.com with that profit guarantee. And uh, followed that up, I also have uh, on the uh, early start tonight, you mentioned uh, the game between Kansas City and Detroit and, and uh, Mindy's play in the game. But I have a premium in that game, and that's going to be my $15 uh, Best bet pick today over at Tony's Picks in the early game between Kansas City and Detroit. I'll just give it away as far as uh, 
that's the total. So, you know, you can roll with Mindy uh, if you want on that free play. You're going to, of course you are, going to roll with Mindy on the uh, free play here. And uh, I'll have a, a premium play for just $15 over at Tony'sPicks.com with that profit guarantee. Solo standalone play. Uh, my uh, best bet, my $15 discount, guaranteed best bet, all the bells and whistles that we have to offer at Tony'sPicks.com. It's going to be on that game. Kansas City and Detroit. So six games a night in the major leagues. And, uh, yeah, I did give away uh, the three games on the show earlier in uh, NHL action. So uh, looking forward tonight to uh, uh, most of the baseball, but I'll tune in, continue watching some of these preseason games uh, as well. So uh, I don't know, Tony, I think uh, we we're supposed to go to a game this week or something like that. Yeah, I'm going tonight. Going to the, the Sharks Kings game tonight, so I'll get to take in some preseason action. They saw them against Vegas. They got the win yesterday. Sharks were in uh, Anaheim yesterday, so they'll be on a back to back. Kings will be in making their home debut tonight. But yeah, I'll be there. Uh, guys, uh, get on board with Ramon as uh, he's got his plays up for you right now. Use the uh, uh, the promo code Tony T at checkout, and you'll be able to save a uh, 20% off your purchase. Um, of course, uh, Ramon on his uh, profit guarantee that three pack here for Major League Baseball also a standalone fifteen dollar premium pickup there as well. Again, as he mentioned, they must turn a profit or the amount you purchase is credited back in your account for site credits. That's what credit guarantee is. Also, um, Ramon with long term passes. We've talked about that one month all sports pass. Now with all these sports starting to overlap, no better time than right now to pick up a one month all sports pass. Get all Ramon's plays here from Major League Baseball that will include the end of the regular season. We've got one week left. A week, a week from today, we'll have Major League Baseball. All the games start at uh, 4 Eastern. <laughs> Interesting how they do that. 15 games at 4 Eastern, and that's the end of the regular season. Then we'll go right into the wild card round. And, of course, uh, that'll get you the first three rounds here of Major League Baseball playoffs there with Ramon when you get on board with that uh, with that uh, one-month all-sports pass as well his, as his NFL, his college football. NHL will be in play if there's NHL preseason premiums. That will be included. Of course, the NHL will begin here on October 7th with those two games in Prague. Then the North American uh, uh, opening night on October 11th. So lots of hockey there. Almost three weeks of hockey there with that one month all sports pass. As well as about 11 days of the NBA as we tip it off here on October 18th. So a lot of sports overlapping. A great time right now to go ahead and get one of those all sports passes. As you'll have the two in the NBA, NBA, of course the hockey, your baseball, your two football leagues, your, your college and pro. Lots going on over at Tony's Picks, so get signed up. Use that promo code TONYT at checkout to save the 20% off. All right, Ramon, we put together a Twitter account for you over at Tony's Picks. Ramon, of course, you got that morning steam show going on as well. Hey, get my pick tonight on Twitter. It's going to be in NHL preseason action. It's going to be a total. Log on to Twitter. Follow me at Tony's Picks. Ramon, pick up that play tonight. Uh, in the National Hockey League, one play uh, tonight. It's a total. And uh, you can get it on Twitter. Follow all of our handicappers over at uh, their uh, Twitter accounts through Tony's Picks, usually Tony's Picks, followed by their name, and uh, mine's right there, Tony's Picks Ramon. And, uh, yeah, uh, another good week going on with Mindy and I over at the Morning Steam. Uh, we talked today about the early games on Saturday. The noon starts, 11 Central, the 9 Pacific starts. Went through about 14 more games uh, for the week. We also did uh, the Thursday and Friday action as well and a big card this week in college football looking forward to that so lots on the on the plate there over at uh, at uh, the morning steam and ramon you got a lot of college football of course tomorrow will be your thursday before your your day off so I, I'm, I'm sure lots of college football on the menu for tomorrow yeah we're gonna get through another set of games probably into the uh, er, you know into the early evening games and then save the uh, rest for saturday so we could talk about some college football and college football day probably knock out about 25 or 30 games there so a uh, great card great card in college football this week There's some things you'll touch on that out, and you'll touch on that nfl game as well thursday yeah no doubt about it i think everyone's talking about it and everyone's on there kind of waiting kind of waiting on the two uh, uh status there uh you know if he's coming back from a back injury <laughs> right, right. So we'll see. I mean, those are, those are might be a little bit tougher. Those head injuries. The head injuries, a lot of times, you know, players will probably want to play, and they're just uh, held out because of, uh, you know, not clearing, not clearing it with the doctor. I mean, most players you know, like to. If it, if it was a head injury, um, then you know, you want to go back into the game. I mean, that's what 
That's yeah. what they used yeah, to do back, 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 back in your day, remote, back when you were on the practice field, you clock, collided heads and you were a little dizzy and the, they would, the coach would give you a little smelling salt. Yeah, you saw the light and right when you hit your head, you saw that flash. Yeah. If, you ever, if you've ever had that moment where you see the flash, you probably had a concussion. And yep. uh, yeah, back in the day, it didn't matter. But look, Tony, with all seriousness, uh, you know, with the, uh, you know, some of the mental health issues, I mean, there, you know, it can't be, a, a, you know, looked at uh, as far as saying that, you know, some players suffer, some don't. I think it's case by case. But when you see the things that happen, you know, things like with Junior Seau, other players, uh, you know, throughout the years, uh, uh, you know, there's obviously uh, the, they're doing the right thing, I think, when it comes to these uh, situations. We just didn't know any better uh, back in the day. And, you know, I don't know. It'll never happen in our lifetime, but really the, the thing to do is probably take those weapons uh, off of their heads. You know, when you see the the summer league play now, the seven-on-sevens and those, uh, you know, maybe because they can't put cool logos on them or something, but it just seems like those other, uh, those uh, cushiony helmets that they wear in practice uh, might be actually something that we see uh, in the future. I think it would be, you know, 10 or 20 years down the line, but uh, you know, they've got to get those weapons off the top of their heads. I mean, you see it all the time. You know, the guys with their uh, heads snapping back and the, the launching. Look, they do a good job policing it, but, you know, why not put those soft helmets on their heads in the future? They might not look, look as cool. And, and, you know, I don't know, maybe it would change the speed of the game. We're already seeing, you know, a little bit of, of you know, from the public as far as backing away from professional football. They don't like it anymore. It's still, you know, immensely popular, obviously. But maybe that's something that will happen. In t- discussion for another time, Tony. I'll yep. get off of it. All right. Uh, so, guys, check out Ramon over at Tony's Ramon and tune in the morning steam on, the U- on our YouTube channel here at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. It runs the show runs Saturdays through Thursday. Everyone, have a great evening. We'll talk with you again tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Rowan Scott here 